Good morning, I've been out in the garden drawing some leaves. I came back, had some breakfast, some of my crunching up cornflakes, and uh, looked at Art Nouveau. And what I'm going to do is combine all three together. Um, so I've got my drawings, and what I'm going to do is get my cardboard from my cereal packet, draw a box, cut a box out, and then I'm going to draw another box as well. So I've got my composition here, and then I've got the exact same again here, so I'll quickly cut that out. I can then, on this piece, draw my designs. So I've got my designs here, so I'm going to quickly draw them out. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm leaving a space between each of my leaf, leaves, and then I can then cut them out, cut my leaves out. So I've cut this one out very, very quickly. And what I'm going to do is I want some raised edge on it, so I'm going to draw out a scrap piece of card cardboard again. So I've got another piece here. I'm going to draw around this leaf again and then cut it out. So I've got two identical or very similar leaves. Once I've done that, I want to have a raised edge in the middle. So I'm going to cut this in half. So that goes there. And then I can then glue this half onto my leaf. So here we go, that gets glued onto here. So what I've done is I've cut more out, so I've got a relief here. And then once you've cut them all out, so here's one that I've cut out, I'm now going to glue the background. So I'll move my leaves and then put lots of print onto the background, just like that. And then I can stick them down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I can still move them around because they're on, on glue. And then I'm going to put my glue down on top of my leaves. Because what I want to do next is put some tin foil over the top. So here's my tin foil. Rip it. And then I want to use the matte side. You've got a shiny side and a matte side. Put the matte side down, rub that on, and as you see, I can see my sculpture coming through. What I can then do is glue the back, fold it over, glue the side, pull that over, and so on and so on. And once I've got it glued down, I'm just going to take this excess off. I'm now going to get my polish. So I've got my shoe polish here. Get some shoe polish and this is a patina that I'm putting onto the metal tin foil and I'm rubbing my shoe polish in and what I would then do is leave that to dry and as you see you get a kind of lovely low relief effect. Leave that to dry. Once it's dried for about 10 minutes I'm then going to rub off some of the shoe polish to give some nice light areas and some dark areas. So can you see I've got that. So I've made this one I've then decided to change the composition and look at ivy leaves, so I've made that one. And then you could challenge yourself and make something as big as that.